Hey guys, today we're trying Metro Exodus, as requested by Patreon subscriber Daniel Berkman. This video is a monument to my failures. <laughs> I just remember when I was thinking, oh, I'm in a Metro Exodus is coming out. You know, that series always seemed pretty cool. I'm going to play Metro 1 and 2, Metro and Metro Last Light, as I wait for this, this, the third game to come out. We're going to cover all three games in a row. Won't that be great? And then I completely failed to do so. It's way easier to think about the idea of wanting to do that kind of stuff than it is to actually do it, unfortunately. Still trying to get through the entire Resident Evil series and the entire Devil May Cry series and the entire Yakuza series. <laughs> so maybe I'll never get around to this for all I know. But they seem neat. I played Metro back when it first came out a long ass time ago and it was neat. <coughs> Particular kind of cool approach to like a linear shooter campaign that ha feels vaguely survival horror-ish but isn't necessarily but that, that emphasis on stealth and a grungy storyline where you're kind of stuck in a really shitty post-apocalyptic situation while also having to worry about how much ammo you use because the ammo you consume is also your currency and other cool things like that. Like, I honestly just really like a lot of what the series goes for. The title background? Why not? No tinnitus sounds. Huh. You know what? Hold on QTEs, because uh, I am on a keyboard and mouse, and clicking, ma mashing a keyboard button always feels like garbage. Let's just be honest about that. Why wouldn't motion blur default to normal? Why would it default to high? Isn't, wouldn't normal imply that that's the normal level of motion blur that you want to convey the scene? So why would it default to being even higher than the default? And the game closed. Okay, okay, I'll take the message. I've tried to set it from like ultra to like high twice because sometimes ultra mode interferes with the recording and takes up too many resources. Uh, it crashed both times and didn't save the change. It saved that I changed the QTE from mash to hold, but it didn't save both times that I wanted to change the graphic setting when it crashed over and over again. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll just try it. We'll just try it out. New game. Boom, boom. Normal. Ranger Hardcore. Makes it more challenging. Turns off the targeting reticle. Minimizes HUD presence, limiting it. players' ammo reserves, increasing combat difficulty, making the enemies more aware. In addition to that, the players' weapons degrade faster. At the same time, making the workbenches they could be fixed upon scarcer. scarcer. This is supposed to be a really interesting modifier for the first game, but I heard that it was bad in the second game, but I don't know. That's a whole subculture thing of people fetishizing all that stuff. I'm just going to play regular ass difficulty. We ain't got time for that. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. Seven billion were wiped out by the last war. 
only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Well, that was a fantastic intro. I took it that first, that was probably how... I took the beginning, at least, to be potentially how he saw himself turning his back on the world on that train when they might have first left for the tunnels maybe when he was a kid I almost said Artemy but Artemy is pathologic I don't think that's the name of the character from this game unless they're both Artemy <clears throat> look at that gar gargoyle <clears throat> wow my throat's all screwed up now great I'm curious about how a whole game can take place on the sur surface, because that's kind of ultimate forbidden zone in the first game. I suppose that's what the entire intro will probably be establishing if <coughs> if that if that wasn't already covered at the end of the previous one so i have not played last light hey you're always surviving these tunnels which are not hospitable but they're at least livable you're being attacked by these monsters but the moment you go to the surface, you can only survive for short bursts of time. You need air filters, you need to survive the radiation. But also at the any moment, so many enemies might be coming your way. Oh, I had not loaded. So it's like a wi it's wildly, wildly dangerous people on the surface. And our monsters, I mean. While also being just a number of other threats. And you also just straight up can't survive up there. So we'll see how that changes here. The atmosphere is so good in these games. Seven billion died, 50,000 remained.
Yeah. What the- oh no. Not spiders. Anything but spiders. Well, not anything. No sharks. I'll take spiders. Oh uh, yeah? Is that the good shit I just found? Better ammo? More ammo, maybe? This is a series where every shot counts. Or at least that was the original premise. Because your bullets themselves could be used as currency. So you didn't want to waste them in fights if you could avoid it. You'd be careful. Try to, try to dodge your way past fights altogether if you can. A lot of web. Bats? I think so. I thought that was an eye at first. Uh-oh, they're coming after me, I think. I think I went through there a moment ago. They're, tra they're, they're following my tracks. Can I close this after me? Because I think the creatures are coming after me. Unreadable. Okay, yeah, let's maybe turn that on. Subtitles for hearing impaired. No tinnitus sound. Subtitle background. No. Sign subtitles. Sign, abandoned station. Can we not right now, spiders? Can we not? <laughs> Fuck you. All over my screen. <laughs> Where the fuck? I hate it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What the fuck? This is how the game opens. Where the fuck did it go? Fuck you. Whose idea was this? You're a bad person. Hey, ba hey, bat monster. Bat monster. It is a bat monster. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. You guys are big. Oh, hi. We doing this? We doing this? Boom. Yeah? August 11th. We've arrived. So far so good. Just a couple of rats. The guys are unloading the trolley. August 12th. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Kolya went to get some more volunteers, but for now we'll just cover the platform in the airlock. It looks like Mikhail isn't going fishing, uh, going, isn't going finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. August 13th. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beast got inside unnoticed under the steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. Mikhail says he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise. I guess we'll just weld the gates shut with a sheet of steel and think later. 
August 14th. There's a stampede of Watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolya brought the welding apparatus. We can't even start the work. As soon as we make a slightest noise, they start howling up there. For now, we decide setting up some traps. Such a good universe. It's neat. Creepy ass setting, so dense and lived in and busy. People have just been trapped down here, but the monsters are pretty cool designs usually too. Oh boy. The rats are after me. Ugh. Oh. That hurt me. Terrible accuracy. I blew that. Ugh, look at the bones, exp like, exposing outward. You guys are a mess. They probably live in pain. The way that their entire jaw is just exposed outward, no skin, no gums. So many poor video game characters who get stuck narrating their own deaths. Hey, turn that off. Why are you recording this right now? Oh god, here come the monsters we're studying. Ah, oh, they're gonna get us all. <laughs> Tell my wife I love her. It's like a tradition at this point. Couldn't get those signs to... That one said we will survive, but the other ones I couldn't get to explain what they say, so... It's either finicky, or some of the stuff just isn't supported. Either way. Oh yeah? We doing this? Come on. We doing this? Ratso? Oh, point of no return drop. I'm sure it won't get immediately swarmed at all. Oh, here it comes. I think it got me. But I also destroyed him. The mixed results a bit. Don't know if you heal over time in this game or if you heal from... Oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. I might be able to get away. It's like... That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Ooh. I don't know if I'm helping, but I'm clicking anyway. Ooh, good one. We'll get you out. Whoa, it's a tomb. What you want? 
Artyom. That explains why Artemis sounded so familiar but wrong. It's night time at the station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Here comes Spartans. Uh, looks like Artyom has been on another one of his mad trips up top. Good kick. He got hey, hit by the explosions at D6. Where to now? Left across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Hmm, that's why we're in the hospital. I was gonna say, we didn't seem injured. It seems to have, everything went well for us, but... I guess we're here because of the fact that we need new blood, because we got all irradiated. Me being a silent protagonist is instantly weird. Especially since I did the whole, in, like, spoken intro, everyone's talking at me and I'm not responding to them. It just comes across as a rude. <laughs> Metro 2033 and Metro 2034 are right there on the bookshelf. I have that. I want to get around to reading that and just spend, learn about this universe and all that. I have Metro 2033 and I figure I'll, I'll buy them as I go if I make it through that one and go forward further. But yeah, so that's Metro, right there is the Metro 2033, the game that already that came out first. And there's Metro Last Light is Metro 2034, if I remember correctly. I think that's supposed to be the the one-to-one -one there. So that's neat. That's a funny detail. Archom blah, 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 blah. Born in 2009. I admitted, come on, it's the third time. 
Diagnosis, radiation sickness relapse, light form, approximately 1 to 1.5 GY, prognosis favorable, treatment, blood transfusion, 0.5 K, 3 a week, Kali Iodanium PO, bed rest, not going to the surface for a year at least. A year? Man, I didn't accomplish shit, and now I can't go up again for a year? Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse <Bartium>. me? <laughs> Just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. He's, he's just silently ignoring everybody. It's kind of, yeah, it's weirding me out. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit or Yeah, hey, there it is. Metro 34, Metro 2034. I don't know. They're just kind of around <laughs> everywhere, huh? What could possibly have survived on the surface? Uncle Artyom! Don't worry, I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> this child's going to die. I have no idea. Everyone's going to die. At least they're trying. Yes. If not them, then who? I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. go. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave you us a scare? scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? Yeah. I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give This way. calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the you nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him! Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, Privet, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, well, you guys so I brought kids. something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! Son of a bitch. You're gonna disappoint a lot of people. And more of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. Uh, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. The gargoyle things are so cool. Yeah, I, I question the choice of voice acting it like they're performing it like this. Like everyone's directly talking to me, 
and like waxing philosophical about my, my motivations, which they all have to say at me because I won't say them myself. Because he's just not voice acted. And this is weird. It's, he's not a blank slate RPG protagonist that I can role play however I want. He, his motivation drives the entire game's story so far. But like it's really important what he cares and what he thinks about. See all the destruction, and Moscow has the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I just questioned the logic of why make a game this way. Had to scare a Dusty Diary. Too late. Sure went to buy food. I was going to roll the chair onto the balcony to have some fresh air when the civil defense broadcast started. Crowds outside. Everyone's running somewhere. Missiles are flying. Flashes. Blinded me even with the curtains down. I still see green spots everywhere. I hope Shura made it to the metro. I thought I was done for, but it looks like I have some time. It's night. The streets are empty and silent. Just sirens blaring everywhere. And there's this green fog everywhere, and it's fluorescent. Or is it just my eyes? Phone's dead. Radio, too. Shura. Shura, my dear, I pray you're alright. I don't feel good. Very weak. Goodbye, Shura. A demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Like, I'm somebody who's, like, yearning for something bigger, something different, something beyond these walls. Could you imagine if Moana was a silent protagonist? No songs decrying her information, her motivations, she just kind of says nothing all game, all movie. come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat... With a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Wow. They go fast. Did you hear that? Again. You're all going to die down here. They call these guys watchmen. Oop, shit. They better watch out for my bullets. They seem rather vulnerable. That thwack. I also have like three minutes before my last filter runs out. If it is my last one. Uh, oh, here. Gotcha. Shit. Uh. Okay, that's bad. That's a lot of them. Oh my god. Where am I trying to go? I don't care about the photo mode right now, game. I'm trying to not die. Are we good? That was distressing. There was just like a herd. She didn't come with me at all. We just did. I, think, I guess we were supposed to stay still. Whoops. Oh, is this why the zone is off 
off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Was I right about this being where we're going, though? Hey, Help me get out there. Yep. Can't get over the sheer amount of atmosphere. It's just so neat. Whoa! I'm not just imagining things, right? Yeah, there goes the boat. Boat pfft, train. A damn train on the surface. Where? That's the snow piercer, obviously. What else would it be? What the fuck? How do you mean catch up with it? Oop. You almost fell off the fucking place. How the fuck do we catch a train? Have you have you been here for so long you forgot how fast trains are? Oh. Well that's not good. I can take it I take it they're not my people at all. You should have checked first, assholes. Oh, there are guys. They're just idiots. Thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, really? we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Jesus Christ. Let's go. I guess this would be how we get separated from um, from our wife and society. Rapid fire discoveries. All of society still exists, by the way. People are alive. I mean, less of them, but more of them outside. So that's neat. But other bad news. Well, fuck. Ah. Was that dog's jaw weird? By the way. 
He was going too fast. It was hard to tell if he looked weird because he's a video game dog or he looked weird because he's a mutant dog. <coughs> What you got there? Oh, first aid kits. All right. I just stabbed myself. A little better now, right? That's how it works. Look at the little gargoyles. Oh, they're cool. That's just neat. This is neat. We're having a bad time though. Oh, they're hanging. So this is supposed to be the open world Metro game. So I guess this all builds out to us getting to some kind of actual overworld. Archim gets everything he ever wanted. Well, not really. What assholes, though. I saved the world, like, twice, didn't I? And then they just shoot me like a dog. Throw me in a gutter. Just a bad time. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to step up and save the world for a third time. Won't that be fun? It speaks to the inhospitability of the world, though, if it's so easy for us to discover our way into larger society. It was supposedly so impossible, but suddenly we're gonna find it right here, I think. Right? The is switching off. Pretty sure I'll get shot if I go that way. Oh, am I gonna jump on the train or something and just hitch a ride to the larger world? Of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you? Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we've both done for. Looks like we're still doing a, a tutorial, not for stealth. You'd better not walk into the light. <laughs> Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. What an awkward... Don't walk into the light during stealth sections or you'll get killed. That's just, that's hilarious to think about in the universe. I'm, it's, I'm having trouble getting over him being silent with the way people are talking to me. I 
like, it's a mutant, kill it, kill it, and my character doesn't even speak up then. I know, I, I've played a video game before. They're over here thinking I've never ever played a video game apparently. The atmosphere is so great though. More of a level design thing than a dialogue. The dialogue's doing some real video game lifting right now that's kind of awkward. Yeah, this, this, these tutorials being in-universe is weird. Just a pop-up is fine. Without having him say it in character. It just makes it weird. But I guess if all the dialogue was going to be accurate and make perfect sense, we probably wouldn't have a silent protagonist. Because that's, that's already starting off in a weird foot. Now I can throw cans. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Let's go. Come. Well, is that a distracting can? I better stare at it for the next thirty seconds. Go through. Come on. Hey. Good luck to you. out there but we've been on radio silence specifically because apparently the war never ended hmm well if you want to check out metro exodus there's a link in the description to the pc page there's a, it's also on a uh, i think this one actually is on ps4 and xbox one if i remember correctly but if you want to get in the epic game store then for the PC version, then you can uh, buy it via the referral link if you'd like to, and it does a kickback for the channel. Helps me out over here. Uh, thanks for watching, like always, guys. Thank you to the uh, developers for sending me a preview code so I can check out their game. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.